Okay, so in this part of the question then, we're given that 2x squared minus x to the power 3 over 2, all divided by the square root of x, can be written in this particular format, 2x to the power p minus x to the power q. So I've written that we're to show that it can be identical to this expression. So how are we going to do it? Well, what I'm going to do is to write down what we're given. So just write that down, okay, first of all. Now, we're dealing with powers here, so that makes me think that this square root ought to be changed to a power. So hopefully you remember how we can write the square root as a power. It's x to the power a half. If it was the cube root of x, it would be x to the power third, and if it's the fourth root, x to the power quarter, and so on. Now, what I can do is, we've got a couple of terms on the top here, we've got a single term on the bottom, so this is exactly the same as dividing each of the terms by x to the power half. So, I'm going to split that up like that, and then we should know that when we're dividing, we subtract the powers. So we end up with 2 multiplied by, well, we need to do 2 take away a half. So that's 1 and a half. But write that as a top heavy fraction. So that's x to the power 3 over 2. And then when we come to the next one, we've got 1 and a half take away a half, which is just 1. So we've got x to the power 1 or just simply x. So when I compare this to 2x to the power p minus x to the power q, you can clearly see that p has the value 3 over 2, and q has the value 1. So we needed to specify the values of p and q, and that's now been done. So that brings us to the end now of this question.